Do you guys want to learn how to tie a blood knot for fly fishing? Well, make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Ryan from Sport RX. We're in beautiful Port O'Connor, more specifically the Sanctuary Private Residence here in Port O'Connor. I'm here with Kevin, fly fishing expert. He's been fly fishing for over 40 years and leading people on guides for fishing for 25. And today he's gonna teach me how to tie the blood knot. So Kevin, let's jump into it. Teach me All how to right. tie this knot. All right, let's roll, man. All right, I just taught you how to, how to tie the cinch knot. Yes, sir. Okay, now the blood knot is how you tie line to line, gotcha. not lure to line or fly to line, but say your tip it to your regular leader. So we're going line to line and you remember the cinch knot. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna take these two pieces of line and we're gonna cross them. Cross them, okay. Hold them right where we cross them, okay? And basically we're gonna tie a cinch knot over here and a cinch knot over there and pull the two together. Okay. And it's a little bit difficult with this first little move, but you just, Take that line, one, two, three, four wraps, and then I'm gonna go back through that loop that I formed to begin with, just like I was on the hook. Then I'm gonna pull it tight, then I'm gonna pinch that part of the line there. Then I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five on this side, and I'm going to come back through that same loop right there. I'm going to grab it with my teeth. Move it up a little bit. Pull it together. Oh, wow. And you got line to line. So do you have to do four loops on that one and then five specifically, or does it really not matter? No, how many that's you just do? how I how you did do it. it. Okay. Yeah. You just have to have enough that the knot doesn't slip. Okay, it's not going to break. And okay. again, this is 50 pound line. So you don't have to make as many loops. If we were using 10 pound, 12 pound do line, a finer line, yeah. you'd have to do a few more loops okay. to make the, the knot hold. That makes sense. Okay. That, as you can tell, that's a beautiful little knot. Yeah, right that's, that's not going anywhere. That's yeah. staying together. All right, that's it, that's simple. Okay, blood knot, we're just gonna cross our two lines and basically we're gonna form a cinch knot on each side of my fingers. Four or five wraps there, back through the middle V or loop, pull tight down the line, pinch that part of the knot, and then one, two, three, four on this side, back through the same open loop, grab with your teeth, pull tight on both sides, blood knot. So Kevin, when would be a good time to use this knot when you fly fish? Is there a certain type of fish you should use or at all types of fish you can kind of use it for? No, this is just a line to line connection. Okay. Normally when you're fly fishing, you have a tapered leader that you're using that goes from heavy down to a thinner line. And then usually you want a tippet section after that. And that's just connecting your tippet section to your main leader section. Gotcha. Or if you were, let's say you were fishing with a spin rod and you happen to get a big tangle in your line and you've lost, say, 50 yards of your line, <laughs> and you wanna put some more line on, but you don't wanna take it all off. So to connect your new line to your old line, that makes sense. just a blood knot, blood line knot to line. Connected, yeah, and it's a be. very tapered knot that doesn't stick through the guides, you know, as you're trying to cast. Gotcha, so. that, makes, that, that makes sense why it's a popular one for a lot of white fish. So. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, that was some great information on the blood knot, Kevin. Thank you. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you'd like to hear more from Kevin, you can follow him on social media at ktdiaries.com. Catch you guys later.